Hello, this is Brian Hegney, instructor of communication at High Point University. Whoops. This is part two of a number of videos that are really geared towards my character design course. So if you're in another course and I'm reusing this, uh, welcome, hi, how are you? And if you're not in my class, then hello, how are you as well? So let's take a look at the what we are doing. So we have this character in our 2D blueprint, right? And we have updated it. We've just brought in a new sprite sheet and kind of created some flipbooks to swap it out. But when we play it, it goes back to the original character, which is actually a good thing because it's doing what it should be doing. Yay. All right. So what is it doing? Let's go ahead and open up the blueprint of the character, the player character. And we'll take a look at how this was set up. Update animation. This is really where some of the magic happens. So when it's updating, it's saying, hey, is my velocity going? Yes or no? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Number one, I want to change the idle out. So here, oh, here are the two things that we can change right off the bat, right off from the, the template that comes in Unreal Engine. And the idle animation, the running animation. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this to Robo Idle and Robo Running. These are the ones I created, okay? Yay. And so I'm going to compile that, and it works. That's great. Now I'm going to play it. Okay, and there's my idle. See, it's not an animation, really, so I'm walking. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, and guess what? It seems to work. Yay, okay. It is working. Wonderful. That's perfect. Except for, let's say you want to add a jump. Let's say you're one of my students and you thought, you know what, I designed a really cool frame for my character for their jump animation or their jump frame. And I want to implement that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do using their own system here. Update animation, get velocity. So they're using velocity. And let's go ahead and use that same velocity. Um, Target is the character. No, target is the. What is this? Wait a minute. I'm getting velocity. Target is actor. Um, oh, from the movement. Oh, right. Uh, duh. I forgot we were in the player character blueprint. Okay, yeah. So velocity is one of those things that's in this character movement, I believe. Is velocity in here? Velocity. Um. Yeah, velocity is right here. So it, it, this it, this character movement has a ton of stuff built into it, courtesy of Epic Games. Thank you, Epic. Um, and I'm not going to get into too much of what that means, so I'm just going to click off of it. Just note that it is it is calculating my velocity every time my character moves. So it's if it's if it's standing still, it's zero. Um, and velocity can be calculated in any of the three axes, x, y, or z. So if you're moving left, it's, um, I think that's in the x value, and it's negative, maybe? And if it's moving right, it's positive in the x axis. Um, now, what they're doing here is they're getting its vector length, which that means it's it's basically saying if it's, go if, if it's a negative value, it, it has a length. And so that length is going to be positive. Um, and so then they're changing basically every negative value to a, um, a positive value so that they can compare that value to zero and say if it's greater than zero that means it's moving in some direction and if it is not greater than zero that means it is zero um, and so it is not moving okay and then it's doing a select based on a um, True or false is is this statement true? Okay. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna say okay. So so if I'm moving upward, this is what I want to do. If I'm moving in the z direction at all, I want to turn my I want to set my um, flipbook to the jump. Okay. So I am going to actually get my velocity and I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break that vector from get velocity and that's gonna break it up you can do that because of this velocity is in the XYZ it's in all of them um, and I really just wanna ask am I increasing or decreasing for Z okay and I'm gonna compare this to zero so I'm gonna type in compare 
compare float. And if you don't if you don't know what that means, a float is basically a number with a decimal point. Um, I mean, they all have decimal points, really. So it's not an integer, right? And that's good. Because if it's 0 0.001, you're still moving. I still want to know that. Okay, so this is comparing a float with 0. That's what I'm going to do. Now, I have greater than, equals to, and less than. And I'm okay with this. If I'm going to be doing equals to, that means it's it's not moving up or down. It could still be moving left and right. So at this point, I'm going to say, you know what? Not but this equals to zero. I'm going to say, okay, then figure out if you're going to be walking or running or if you're going to be idle. If you are moving up or down, then I'm going to want to, and I'm going to drag it out from one, I'm going to say set flipbook. Actually, I don't remember what, I don't remember what I should type, um, so I'm going to actually come up here and say, what is this again? Yes, yeah, set flipbook. So I could actually copy and paste this, or I could drag it out from here and type in set flip, and there's my set flipbook sprite. Yes. This little sprite, by the way, this little node that it came with, this means that if I were to rename this can I rename this at all uh, I guess I can't sorry I thought I could rename that I guess I can't but this is that so if I were to drag this here hey th that's actually the target that it is so that's why that little sprite comes around so if it's greater than zero in Z value, it turns into the jump, or it turns into this. I haven't set the flipbook yet. And if it's lower than that, that means if it's less than zero, if it's falling, I can set it to that. Makes sense? Okay. So now I need to set the flipbook to the jump, robo jump flipbook. Okay. I'm not done yet because this compare float to the Z length isn't connected to anything. So every update animation, it just jumps to this set flipbook, which really just compares it to am I moving or am I not moving. So what I need to do is actually divert, let's see, I need to divert this through here, chick. And now, now once I go to this first, now it's going to say, well, wait, if I'm not moving upward, then I should figure out if I'm idling or if I'm running. And if I am moving upward or downward, then I should set it to jump. And that's it. And I'm going to compile that. It should be okay. Now when I play it, okay, I'm going to jump. There's my jump animation. Now if I fall, it should also be my jump. And there. Now what I want to test really quickly, if you don't mind coming along with me, is I'm wondering if my if my platforms are slanted, I just hope okay, I was worried that if I'm moving upward uh, because I'd be moving in Z value that it would be jumping and I honestly don't know why it's not because theoretically I'm moving up and down um, and one of my computer programming students told me he knows why it, it does that and he's not gonna tell me so <laughs> he said it was too, too difficult to explain to me um, and maybe that says a little bit too much about me but that's it that's how we do the jump but now in my next video let's see sorry in my next video yeah, nine minutes. I'll show you how you can set up two jumps, like a jump for going upward and a jump for going downward. Okay? Um, all right, I hope you learned lots. Have a good day. Bye-bye.